All right, so welcome to the class, Graph 245. Um, this video is being recorded for the fall semester 2018, but I'll probably reuse this video uh, if the course doesn't change too much. So if you're in the spring 2019 or some later semester, um, don't worry about that. Uh, the course should be pretty much the same. If it looks a lot different, let me know. I need to re-record the video. Uh, but this is the main page of the course site. And so we're going to go through how this site should be navigated and uh, get you ready to complete the orientation assignments. All right, so uh, the announcements are right here in the main part of the page. And as the announcements change, make sure you read through those. Uh, they'll have information about important uh, assignments and due dates and such. Uh, we have some we have some uh, toolbars on the top and left that are the same and I'll go through those real quick. There is a messaging system where you can send direct messages to me. Um, that's actually the preferred method of communication. It's actually even quicker to get a response than email. You can also contact other people in the course um, should you need to ask them stuff. If you have a message sent to you, you should see a little notification here that I sent you a message or someone else has and make sure you read those and respond. Uh, forums are the same as discussion boards and uh, we're gonna have some assignments that take place in the forums so you can get directly to those from the forums link. Uh, there's a calendar with all the due dates for the class and other important deadlines, so you can always access that by clicking on calendar. And of course, Gradebook will have all your grades, uh, the same grades that I have up to date, uh, along with your current grade in the class. So those are handy uh, tools to be able to access. Now let's go into the folders. So below the announcements, we have a list of eight folders and we're going to access those from top to bottom in order. So the first folder you want to go into is course information, followed by orientation, followed by the other units. I'm going to show how the first two folders work, and then they'll have a separate video for each of the unit folders showing you how those work. All right. In the course information folder, the first thing you see is a forum for asking questions about the course. So if you have any general questions about how the course works or the orientation assignments, um, go ahead and post here and we will answer that. Uh, of course, make sure you click on and read the syllabus. Uh, you can click on this and get information about me, my office hours, and contact information, and so on. Uh, information about the textbook we're using. There's a lot of different options for getting access to the book, um, including you can check it out from the Chesapeake Library. I just made sure they do actually have a copy on the shelves there. Uh, but the, cop the, the book is free as a digital book, and it's uh, pretty cheap as a printed copy. Uh, for technology, we're going to use spreadsheet software. Specifically, I'll be using Microsoft Excel. Uh, you can get Excel uh, as a TCC student. Um, there's information about accessing that and getting a free download of it. Um, you can also use OpenOffice Calc. Uh, some of the things we do won't work too well with Google Sheets, but if you are uh, very headstrong on using that, I will work with you to do what we can. Um, information about how the units work in the course, information about using late passes for late work, information about how you can correct assignments. That's right, you can correct assignments, uh, not exams course, but uh, the other assignments. Uh, information about the four assignment types. Uh, so make sure you read through all this stuff. And uh, if it's just a link, make sure you click on it and read. Um, then we have, I'll have information about tutoring once that's made available. Because uh, we have tutoring centers at all four campuses, but only certain people are able to cover statistics. So as soon as I find out when the statistics tutors are there, I'll list that. Um, I'll just do it for Chesapeake because they're the only ones that actually reach out to me that information. If you're at one of the other campuses, go ahead and use this link and call them up and find out when they have a statistics or math 245 tutor there. All right. Now you might want to use the back button on your browser to get back to the main page, but as this thing indicates, you can click on math 245 at the top. So we're going to scroll up to the top. And you see right here, we can click on Math 245. That'll actually take us back to the main page. All right? And here we are. All right, so now we're going to go into the Orientation folder. All right, so here we have a set of assignments to get you oriented to the class. Um, the first assignment is Autobiographies. So go ahead and uh, click on that to access it. And this is a forum or discussion board. And so you just click on Add New Thread to create your thread, right? And go ahead and put your name, 
and then write write about yourself uh, as the directions are prescribed. And you have access to all kinds of formatting in the way you would in any word processing software. You can also uh, attach files, you can insert pictures and videos, and you can put in links um, and change the color and font and everything that you want to do with, with word processing. And then hit post thread when you're done. Um, if you want to read someone else's post, you just click on their post and you can read it. Um, and then you can click that you, you know, give them a thumbs up. Um, or you can hit a reply by just clicking on reply and you'll be able to uh, reply to them. All right, so uh, complete the autobiographies and get to know your fellow students. The next assignment is the course policy quiz. And uh, you can see it says late pass allowed on these. So uh, as students, you should have a little button that actually lets you click and use a late pass. Um, that basically gives you a two-day extension on the deadline. Um, so use those wisely. You have a limited number. I think there's 10 for the whole class. Um, so hopefully you don't waste them on these orientation assignments, but uh, uh, you can use those late passes as you see fit. So course policy quiz. So these are a lot of policies for the class. Um, some of them are covered in the syllabus. Some of them are just covered here. Uh, you have unlimited attempts, so I expect everybody to get full credit on this. And while you can get them right through trial and error, make sure that you actually read the correct answer and understand it. Uh, and if you don't, then go ahead and message me by clicking on the link message instructor about this question. Um, because a lot of times I find out at the end of the semester that students don't really understand some of the things covered here and I'm having to uh, copy and paste their answers to the course policy quiz back to them. Um, but this is the format you're going to see for a lot of our what do we call practice problem sets. This is our typical homework assignments and that is you can click over here to do the problems in any order you want. Uh, you click on your answer and then you hit submit. Uh, these are all multiple choice but a lot of the problems we will do of course won't be multiple choice. So once you finish with that um, you can head to the Entering Answers in Ohm assignment. And this teaches you how we're going to enter in some of the mathematical notation and formulas we might have since this is sort of a math class. Um, so we're not doing a whole lot of calculating here, but we are learning how to type in special mathematical notation just using a keyboard. Now there's two ways to do this. Um, one is you can learn the syntax for using keyboard keys to get special formulas. Um, so for instance here, we would have sqrt parentheses 5 uh, forward slash 2. And you can see as I type it in, it actually previews what it, what it corresponds to in the correct mathematical notation. And then I can hit submit to submit it. And if you get green, that means it's right. And red means that it's incorrect. And you get partial credit for these types of problems. The other way you can do this is click on the little yellow button and that'll bring up some special options for doing fractions and square roots that you may find to be a little quicker. So uh, if you were to get a wrong problem wrong two or three times then it will say that you can't try it again. You know, so you no longer have the option to to do this one again and we don't have full credit. So how do we improve our score? We hit try another similar question and it will generate a new problem. Uh, usually with new numbers these are the same um, but in general you get new numbers. And that way you can repeat problems as many times as you need to get them correct. All right and that brings us to our last orientation assignment equation editor forum. Like the autobiographies this is, takes place in a forum so we click on Add New Thread. The directions appear here, and they refer to specific buttons in the toolbar. So there's one here that lets you add new math. And so um, you can click on that, and then you can type in what it says. And then to get out of this, you can hit Enter. You can also use the right directional button, uh, right arrow on your keyboard. Uh, you can get back into it and edit it if you need to. And if you get tired of clicking on that button, you can actually use the button directly to the left of the 1 on your keyboard 
Um, this is the button that you would do shift to get to a tilde, but if you just hit that keyboard key, then you'll get uh, these little quote looking symbols. Okay, so that's a nice shortcut. Uh, so there's that button. Uh, there's also refers to this button, and sometimes you don't know the what you want to type in, so you click on this to get something kind of interesting like an arrow um, or a summation or something like that. So you can take one of these, and if you want it a little different, then you can just edit it uh, accordingly. So, so we'll be taking advantage of those. This uh, type of notation is helpful if you're trying to write answers to some of the critical thinking assignments, right? Those are done in a forum. And this, for, this t toolbar also appears whenever you write essays for your project. Um, or sorry, whenever you would um, send messages. So whenever you're sending messages, you also have the option to do this. So, so when you're communicating to people about math problems, you can use the correct notation uh, so it makes it easier to understand what you're doing. All right, and then just hit post thread when you are ready. All right, so um, we now have those assignments covered. Uh, there's some information about getting your computer ready. And so uh, make sure you have access to spreadsheet um, and some of these other things might also be helpful. Uh, there is also free antivirus software. So uh, you're now ready to go to unit one. So remember to click here to get back to the main course page. And then we have unit one. All right, and I'm going to go ahead and put orientation videos in each of these and explain how to tackle that particular unit. So refer to that video when you get there. Um, all right, well, good luck with the class, and uh, let me know if you have any problems.